Good afternoon. Everybody wide awake. It's getting late. And the sun is still rising. As it goes down, we're ready for breakfast. What I'm going to speak about is the rabbit. The cottontail, Peter Cottontail, which I haven't studied yet. But the rabbit is actually this. This is what the rabbit does when he walks. Okay, it makes your triangle. It makes your distance for the square. Because the rabbit is more square than anything else. You see, the cat has the same thing. You ever see the cat and the, the rabbit's feet? They're long, long, long. They're really fat, uh, flat. They can stand on it. These are the front feet. I, I. This is the tail in the back. For every time they go, you now have the creation of the universe through the rabbit and 11. 11 is what it is. If you put the line over here in the 11, it becomes the H. If you turn it the other way, okay, it becomes the I. So the question on the I is it shows you one dot here for the I, two dots here. What is the question and why? I do not know right now. I haven't sat down. I just thought of it right now. I'm putting it in a star system. I do these videos so I don't forget. So I can go back and look it over again. I decided to share because I just wanted to share. But if you take a look, here's the markings on the top. There are two pillars. Why is it like this? Because right at the end of the seat where his toes are, it makes the pillars. You can see it's more flat in the back and a little bit rougher in the front. Now, does this say anything else? This would say nine. What would this say? Where is there a dot down below? That's right. You guessed it right. The end letter. There's a dot in life on the bottom. You see the dots in the light? That's the way it works. You can pick it off as the Z. What I'm showing over here, excuse me, let's do this one, okay, is it's three spirals. However they're created, they turn around and around. Each one turns around, turning each other. I put two eyes, it makes a man. I make a little uh, drawing around it. And that easily, we have now a brain. So when these spirals work, the first three spirals, you see what it does over here? It's the setup for pull. Have you ever seen the Pontiac image before? Well, it comes right over here above his nose, in between his eyes. This is the way it works. It also creates the seven on one side and the seven on the other side. Eventually, it turns on to the alpha omega just by drawing a line. When we have the spirals and we put four of them, this is the design it makes. Rounded here, rounded here, rounded here, rounded here. In the number system, the space between these two is number two up here, number five in the center, number six is over here, Mars is over here, and down here is Neptune. So the question is, what are we doing there, or is it an open street? And this is where we live in one of these four parts. Earth doesn't exist unless you have four. It's time cube. Each one makes each other rotate. The Big Bang forcing the spirals. Boom! You, you shock the Big Bang, and then the Earth starts to turn. It came out of the movie The Core, if I remember that's what the movie was. At the same time, when you make this, you have to see the way I crisscrossed everything. Because if you don't crisscross everything, everything floats away, so they tie them all up. The pharmaceutical sign that you see right here, if you put the little thing from the pharmacy right here, you end up having in the snake. This is what it's all about. Here's your Z, here's your N. When you connect them down the center, you have the first part of the Galactica star system, which is this side and this side. You see, we pull this part together. We pull this part together. Now, if you want to design it a little bit different, okay, we can design the little map. Here's your three balls. One, two, three. This is the club. The club holds on to these two, and this one gets two more pieces here, hold on to the other two, and then you end up with this. And you end up with this over here, this holding it here, this holding it here, this holding it here. Now what goes in between here? Would you believe in the eyebrows? How about a butterfly? 
there's a there's a there's a co coordination buildup um, when when things are being created. Um, the other thing I want to show you is 1963. Okay, in between three and six, in between one and three, is a two. In between three and six is a four and five. 245, 254, the Twin Towers went down. 2, 9, between 7 and 8, between 6 and 9 is 7 and 8. 7 and 8 is 15 equals 6. Equals to 2, equals to 9, equals to 6. 2 times 9 is 18. 18 times 6 is 102. 18 times 6 is uh, 48. And 60 is 108. It becomes 108. And 108 becomes 168. And 168 is actually 7 and 8. 7 and 8 stands for October, September, July, and August because of the manipulation inside Torah and the Gregorian calendar. Scepter 7, Octo Octagon 8. The 4th of July, again, is a repetition of September. August is a repetition of October. Um, where else is there in this? And the other thing about this is, is you move one only space inside here. Only two are missing. Two are missed. One is missing. Two are missing. Two are missing. And then all of a sudden, it's an automatic. It's an automatic. Put the one back at the end. 7 times 13, 13 cards in the deck equals 91. 13 cards in the deck of 7 equals 91. The spirit of 76, 613 laws of Moses. 6, 1, and 3 in days. 6 days, 3 days, 1 day. How does the 6, 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, 1 day? How does 6, 1, and 3 work? 6 days of 24 hours in which 16 hours are your hours. The other eight hours are the sleeping hours. That's actually what you really get to live. They cannot harness you during the sleeping hours. Before I continue and tell you exactly about this, but I'm going to continue. You have 16 hours awake. You have eight hours of sleep. You do this for six days. Then you one day you have your break. And then for three days, you have again 16 hours awake. And you have eight hours of sleep. It's a total of 216 hours awake, which is which is marked down as 144, which is the ninth card your birth, and it uh, totals 72 for the hours of sleep of 7286, which 24 hours goes to God, and also expresses two times four, two plus four, and four and six and eight and two is what represents the tenth and world and the 28th of the moon. Why Bethlehem, number 28, th. Time heaven, Bethlehem, B E T. All of a sudden, the minute you say T, because it has a zero in the numerological count, now you have to look what you want to change in it. I don't remember what the exact things are. I'm still working on them. So we got 168. Six by eight is 48. Eight and six is 14. 48 is 62. Zero 62, which is bicycle playing cards. 62, 622, six which is from um, 6 a.m. in the morning to 10 at night to 6 a.m. in the morning, which is 6, 7, and 6 of the spirit of 76. So I'm rattling off these numbers, and I know nobody's really going to absolutely uh, connect on them. One little just last thing. I just, by mistake, I threw a, a line in this. So things just become something else. Uh, when you work on it, you find, and, the, and it is true, it definitely is true. So when I showed you 90, this, 90, this, this over here, okay, what's the next number after nine? One. I'm going to show you how. I'm going to show you how real quick. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 in the 1 position. The 10 gets the 1 position. 10 and 1 is now 11. Now we have the letter K. We come all the way around to 18. 19. 19 in the 1 position makes 20. 19 is Earth and Mars. 3 times 4, 3 plus 4 equals 19. 12 and 7 
the way the dice work, the way the dice work is we take this one over here. I'm trying to see if I can do this. I'm trying to show you. Is what happens. We draw a flat line here. Then we go up to here and we draw a flat line under here. And this is basically walk like the Egyptian. See how they get up the stairs here? Four meets three. And the same thing for one. You take one, you put it down here, and it meets six. And you do that, you got a strike in the middle. And you continue doing it until you have 12 strikes and your bowling is 300. Zero is replaced by six. You got 366. 366 is 198. Nine times eight is the 72. Seven plus two, seven times two, actually just reads out win big and Big Mac. So much to say, so little time. Rush, 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 rush. Because I can't get it all in in three minutes. It's got to be hours and hours and hours and repeat and over. In the last three years, I must have put in, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I must have put in a little mustard, a little green mustard, a little mustard seed, put a little mustard on it. You know what I'm saying? Everything, even our food. We're vegetables, man. We're nothing. Without the connection of the soul of the pineal gland. Do you remember back in Auschwitz what happened? The trains went in, the trains went out. Well, what actually happened with the trains is they took the people under the ground. They lost their soul spirit. It was completely dissolved. It burnt out. Or it is the spirit spirit that is removed from them, and they come up like zombies because they're no longer connected to the outside system, meaning they've already went to heaven, but their bodies are alive. So they bring the souls down, and then they bring more people into the trains, they bring them up into this big barn. That's why Jesus was born in a barn, because they were trying to explain something else. Okay, why in a barn? Why didn't they put him in the house? Why was Jesus born in a barn, not in the house? Anyway, so the Auschwitz, they bring these people out of the train. They get out of the train, up the stairs, into the barn. They get out of the barn, and everybody sees, oh, look at these Jews. They're killing. Look at them, the big pile of Jews. And all of a sudden, these other guys are all scared. They go into the barn. They're screaming and yelling. They wash them down. But they wash them down. Because they bring them all the way down to the underground. Has anybody really saw somebody go into the barn and come out? Maybe a few of them did. But they put them back on the train, toot toot, whistle the whistle, whistle in sports, whistle in hockey, whistle in baseball, whistle in every single sport because the trains are going down. And my father hates the whistle. And I'm still working to see exactly what's inside the whistle. W-H-I-S-T-L. What is the S-T-L besides Nestle's Quit? Thank you very much for watching a little chocolate and uh, take care of 5775 and we're in that year running down to the last 375 days or 384 days of the cycle of the he brew he boo I want to show you I can't show you yeah I gotta show you the last picture don't worry I'm not going away it's sort of like to show off a few things everybody saw this already right 1010 10 TV, 0110 TV, under is Rubik's Cube A. See where the F comes from? You got to use the whole block. A, F, and it's, it's, a, it's another letter going the other way. You see the letter going the other way? 8, see the letter? H, C, 8, see the next letter? I'm not sure which letter this is. I have to make them out. Anyways, that's this. I know, I show very quick. This is a design of four numbers, and this is something different. Raphael 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus. Look at all the footballs. Look at all the footballs. Somebody knows.